it's a bit too much. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> thank you everyone for being here tonight. Um, <clears throat> this night I will talk about the subject that has been with me for many years, for many time. And um, I will speak about the specific aspect of uh, the anger in special. And why appear the anger at the SPs, at the uh, people, humans with Asperger syndrome. But let's start the subject. What is Asperger syndrome, in fact? The Asperger syndrome is, um, is a whole world, I can say. <coughs> These are only two words, but it contains a lot of humans. Um, it has been, this uh, special word has been discovered by uh, Hans Asperger. Um, he was a Viennese physician. In um, 1944, after uh, over a decade of um, researching and presenting, uh, he, he was searching through the autistic patients. He searched through a large variety of autistic patients and he discovered something different at uh, some of them. He discovered that uh, some of them had uh, normal language, had uh, normal cognitive skills, but they had problems with social interactions. They had problem understanding social cues. They had problem understanding the unspoken words. All that things that for a regular human, for a neurotypical person, um, that means a person that is not in the spectrum, um, is normal, it's understanding, it's they simply don't have that, uh, we don't have simply that uh, program by default in our nature, in our brain. And also in a book that I have studied about uh, the forgotten history of autism, about, uh, written by uh, Steve Silverman, uh, it was a character named uh, Gottfried, also Asperger found it at his patients that they had a um, logical nature of uh, mature thinking, despite their problems with social interactions. And the, the book was a character named by Gottfried and he was he seems to understand all that, all that um, polite expression and social games and the things, uh, the social things, but he wasn't able to use all that information in his advantage. Like something that you don't know how to use. He seemed to not understand that uh, the most things that the normal children instinctively know. So, now to come back to the anger. What about anger? Um, why appear anger? Are they anger by nature? The SPs. I think studying I decide I discovered that is not that uh, they are not anger by nature. They don't have a, a factory deep down in their head and uh, to say uh, be angry, uh, speak anger, uh, show anger to others. No, it's not like that. Is uh, the anger appears as a product of frustration. Uh, 
uh, as uh, the Professor Laura Gray from uh, the University of Leicester, uh, they, you know, when you some when when you see something, you want that. You know that you want that, and you get to a person that can help you to achieve that. But they simply don't have that voice that filter the reaction inside their head. For example, they, they want something, but they don't know how to say, to express that. Or they don't want something and they get something and they don't know, they get something that they don't want and they don't know how to say, I don't want that. It's not okay for me. They simply don't have that filter inside. They had a hard time even sometimes uh, identifying and uh, understanding their emotions. And um, also, um, if I can make a, an example, for example, you, for you, or for you, is, uh, it is hard when you need to uh, express yourself in a foreign language or to say some words. For them it's, it's as hard as expressing in a, a foreign language um, when they need to express their emotions. So, and another thing for anger, it is um, sensory overload. When there are a lot of sounds, you know that when you sit on your work desk and you had um, a lot of tasks task to do, and you need to focus on that spe specific task, but you don't, uh, you can't do that. And it is frustrating because you had a lot of popping thoughts inside mm -hmm. your head. So, to conclude, um, the, I hope uh, through this speech you understand more about the anger, why appear anger in Asperger's syndrome, and also anger in general. Even if you are an SP like me, or even if you are a regular human, a neurotypical one. <laughs> mm -hmm.